Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Talisha. This is my best mate M um, from uni and we are here today. We are going to do a very highly requested Q&A. I have literally been asked this so many times to do this kind of video, mm -hmm. haven't I? Since maybe January people have been like requesting it and honestly I don't know why I haven't done it sooner because so many people wanted it. I put a poll on my Instagram and I've had I don't even know how many questions, so many questions, and I've had to sort through them, write them all down, and make like a list of like the most popular ones. So I'm gonna try really hard to answer everyone's questions today. Um, these are just gonna be questions about the university that I go to, which is Oxford Brooks, um, but also kind of like, it's mainly gonna be about Oxford Brooks because obviously like I go there and I'm gonna give my experiences, I'm gonna give like a rundown on accommodation, nightlife, the uni in general, Oxford in general, but also like there are a few, mm, I think there are a few questions about like budgeting in general that like are more tailored to everyone, not just Brooks students. Because I have received so many questions, I am going to have to split this video up, I think, just so that I can give everyone kind of like a thorough view on everything but the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is the accommodation. Before I start I just wanted to give like a little shout out to everyone that commented on my last video so I posted like a life update and with my last video because I haven't posted in a while and so many people commented saying that they've missed me, um, that they're glad that I'm back and it's just so nice honestly. Um, hey it's Sydney said missed you hope you're doing okay. Rosalie said finally you're back we have missed you I love your channel and your videos always make my day like just things like that are so nice honestly just makes mm. me so happy so thank you very much for being all kind and lovely right okay let's start with the questions so the first question that I got which was asked a lot is which accommodation were you in in first year I find mine out in for Brooks in a couple of days so I stayed at Parade Green, which is um, run by Unite Students. I didn't say where I stayed, obviously, for like privacy reasons, but now obviously I'm not living there anymore, so I can say I um, stayed in Parade as well. That is how we met, kind mm. of. We met on the sort same of, course. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, so give a rundown of each accommodation, where it is, the vibe, who goes there, etc. Okay, this is going to be quite a big one. This is why I think that I need to do a couple of videos because mm, this is a long one has that fallen yeah it has yeah this is going to be a long one so right where do we start i don't know you could talk about this one a lot <laughs> yeah okay so let's start with parade because obviously we went there mm. so we know a lot about it um parade green was like a brand new accommodation when we first went so we were the ones that were first living in there mm. it was so nice so clean new Modern. Just like modern, mm. yeah, very nice. It came with um, like a kettle, microwave, um, toaster, all of that sort of stuff. So you and like Hoover, ironing board, iron. Like you didn't need any of that sort of stuff. The like facilities were really good. You mm. had a rooftop bar, gym. a gym. You had a games room, cinema room, cinema room a barbecue, football, um, pitch. football pitch, hammock area. Like there was, it was just crazy how much you got for your money. We paid one hundred and fifty-six pounds a week. I yeah, think. which is a lot, but it is not a lot. In Oxford, it's but compared cheap. to some of the accommodations, that was actually very good for your money. Mm. Just because it's nice doesn't mean that it's good. Um, which we found out. Which we did find out. So basically, parade is lovely. It, it really is. Um, uh, but. They were, I think maybe because the, it was the first year of students, mm. they were a little bit inexperienced, which you wouldn't expect from, you know, someone who has like a company, a big company like, yeah, yeah United Students. But um, the cinema room, I never went in there, never worked. Mm. The rooftop bar was good, like we did, or oh, it wasn't a bar, it was like a At kitchen area, but it was, it was called actually bar. really nice, wasn't yeah. it? Um, yeah, it was nice, we did go there. Um, the gym was quite often, it was small, so quite often some of the machines weren't working. There was just like a few problems throughout the year that like people found um, and then like obviously everyone spoke so. The Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi kept cutting out. We had like so many fire alarms like it's just things like that but they're kind of like basic things that you would get in a student accommodation I think so um, yeah it, it was a really nice accommodation. However, it was also quite out of you know like the social side mm. and the uni side of 
uni so um it was a 15 10 to 15 minute bus ride to uni uh which they did come quite frequently so you know that wasn't a problem um or it was like a half an hour walk which we actually did quite a we few did times. a few times yeah, yeah. it's not too bad <clears throat> yeah that was okay like getting to uni and that's not really a problem however um going to like town and stuff you had to get like a bus as well mm. and that took maybe half an hour or something that like was that. Longer, that yeah it was only like 10 15 minutes to cowley which we did go out to in cowley quite a lot but it is just you know you are out of it so you can't just walk places really um and also like the social side and parade when we were there wasn't great no. it was it was quite like closed off you stick to your flat you don't really go and socialize you don't have like flat parties mm -hmm. that often it wasn't like the most social place whereas like places like cheney um that Clive Booth, Clive Booth they yeah. are very social like so. I would say if you're interested in the social side I wouldn't go to parade no I wouldn't at all unless you know people or you know you're going to meet people yeah. outside of your accommodation but yeah so that's kind of like the rundown on parade mm. it was a really nice accommodation no it's so nice the rooms are really nice because they're yeah. all sweet mm -hmm. and like double beds and stuff but. yeah yeah mm. definitely next one let's talk about Cheney yeah Cheney is the trust fund <laughs> I can't say that. You can. You can. I can't say that. Um, so, Cheney is the uh, is the accommodation that is on campus. It's like a five yeah. minute walk, mm, less than that actually, from like university. It is right next to the sports bar. It's like very much involved mm. in the campus. Social. Social. Yeah. So, um, because it's right next to the so sports bar, it's kind of like it is the social. One. It is, yeah. loads of parties. Yeah, I mean, obviously we didn't really go there a lot, but like we heard things and like mm. you kind of know the basics of like the different accommodations, like which sort of people go there. And apparently, we don't know, but apparently a lot of like posher, richer people went to Cheney. Um, so we heard, we don't know. Yeah, so it was very social. They'd always, always, always have flat parties, gatherings, things like that, apparently. Again, we don't know. We can't really talk off of our experience Although or anything. we did go there uh, recently when our friends lived there. And actually, the accommodation's not too bad, is it? Yeah, it's, it's quite not nice. too bad. Like, we I both said there. like that we would actually happily mm. go there and live there. Like, it really wasn't bad. I think if I was going to go again, I'd either go to Cheney or Clive Booth. I think I'd go to Clive. Mm. Um, just because I've heard good things about Clive. Mm. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about Clive now. So Clive Booth is like a 10 minute walk from campus, something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's next to Cheney. Yeah, it's like next to Cheney. So you have uni here and then you walk along, you've got Cheney and then you walk further and like across the road or whatever and you've got Clive. So um, it is still like on ca campus, but mm. a bit further out. Yeah. And it is massive. I'm pretty sure there's like I don't even know how many blocks. It is huge. It's huge. It's the big, yeah. I think it must be the biggest one. Yeah. My ex Harry used to live there and it was massive. And to be mm. honest, the rooms weren't bad. The kitchens weren't, I mean, they weren't obviously as nice as parade, but like that is just the classic student accommodation. That's just what you're going to get. Um, but again, I think it was very social, nice people there. I didn't hear any like stereotypes about Clive no, really. I think it's like a lot of people choose this as their preference. Yeah. Their first choice, like everyone wants yeah. to kind of go to Clive. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was Clive. Um again, I can't really talk about Clive. I don't really know much about it. Um then we've got the Muse. So we can talk about the Muse because we had a lot of friends there. We were yeah. often at the Muse. Um the Muse is very, very expensive. expensive. <laughs> it's a hundred and eighty something yeah, pounds something a week. Crazy like that. Which is like thirty pounds more than what we paid and we had like nicer accommodation in yeah, my I opinion was um because it was newer and that um, had facilities like the muse didn't have yeah. any facilities yeah at all. yeah the muse was very small i think there's like a hundred rooms or something yeah, like that i think tiny. it's tiny um whereas a parade had like 800 and something um but it's mm. very small but it is very social and everyone in the muse was like very close and like you knew everyone and yeah it was very nice actually like mm. when we went there there were really lovely people yeah. Um, the staff were, I mean, I can't really comment on it. I didn't Quite live there, strict. but so whenever we went there and we would have like gather gatherings or something like that, um, or like pre's, they would always come in and tell us to turn the noise down. Like mm. they knew exactly where you were, like whatever, but they weren't, you know, it wasn't too bad. Like they didn't kick you out or anything like that. 
Um, but no, like the friends that we had that were, went to the Muse, we had quite a few friends. Uh, they all said that they loved it. They absolutely loved mm. it, didn't they? So um, yeah, I would recommend the Muse just based off of their kind of opinion. Beach House. Beach House is the one for second year, I think. I don't, I can't comment on that at Joshua, all. Though, though. No, that's Dorset House. Oh, okay. Dorset well, House is the one for though. first years, I think. Honestly, I don't really know. I didn't look into it that much. Um, but our friend Josh stayed at Dorset House mm. and he um, was, he was like the only one. And honestly, I don't, don't know anything else. about I it. I wouldn't go there if I yeah. had you. Um, it was very, it's in Headington, mm. so it's very out of it. Like, compared to everywhere else I think. Josh was always at like ours or yeah. the Muse or you know Clive or something like he was never at his house so um that's kind of like the impression that we got that it wasn't very social. Paul Kent. I oh don't yeah. Think that's so weird. It's like Paul a ghost Kent. Town. Paul Kent Hall was opposite Parade Green and we never, never saw, saw anyone there but lights on. We saw like on. two lights on yeah. like in the whole year like I don't know what was going on there. Oh, but Park. Oh, Slade Park. Slade Park, we knew a couple of people at Slade. Yeah. Um, but I think it's quite nice, but I don't yeah. think, again, it's not social. It's Slade less Park, social than Parade. Yeah, it was around the corner mm. from Parade, so they're very close. So it's kind of like the same about the distance, um, but it's like the same bus journey as well, I think. But yeah. um, it was very nice accommodation. I think that's the one that I wanted to go to if I didn't get Parade. Can't comment on the social side of it, but I do know it's that, awesome. like, yeah, it was quite mm. small. There was, I, I heard that there was like a lot of second years that go there. Yeah. I think there was a lot of second year, it was more of like a second year accommodation and then you had like th first years as well. Crescent no. Hall. Crescent Hall. Yeah, so the last one that we were thinking about, I don't think there's any more that, you know, I can really think Relevant about. Ones, yeah. yeah. Um, but the last one was Crescent Hall and we have only heard bad things from that. I mean, I haven't heard anything good, but that doesn't mean that it isn't good. Um, but Crescent Hall was very like, Run down. Run down, I think. It was one of the oldest accommodations, <laughs> oh, I think. Really? Yeah, just not very nice. Like, we had a couple it's of friends that went there. And dingy. One of them went there, said it was disgusting, and left and went to the Muse instead. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's like, that's just kind of, that's all we know about it, really. Mm -hmm. We can't really comment anymore. Oh, that's Harcourt normal. Hill. Um, Harcourt Hill, honestly, no idea about it. I know that yeah. Harcourt is quite a while away from yeah. like Headington and like Cowley and the, you know, the centre of where everything's at. You Don't only know. really want to be at Harcourt if you've got um, all of your lectures, lectures there. there, otherwise yeah. you're like 20 minutes out of yeah. Oxford, so. We had one of our flatmates, um, Clark, she had um, lectures at Harcourt like all the time mm. and she hated it. It took her like an hour or maybe even more well, to get yeah. there every single day and that was from parade. Yeah, mm. I think that's kind of like it on the rundown. That took forever, but like the rundown of the accommodation. What Brooks accommodation would you recommend? Mm. Yeah, so I'd say Clyde Booth or Cheney, definitely. It's just way more social and yeah. whilst it's not as nice as Parade, I, at uni, I just choose social over like how nice something yeah, is. Yeah, just suck it up for mm. like a year. Um, yeah, it kind of depends what you want. I would have chose, if I did it again, I would choose Clive or Cheney or even the Muse actually. The Muse is very expensive though. It's just because so all our friends were there. It was, yeah, but then like, they had a massive, like, yeah. they were all friends. They had a massive social good side. Good location. It was good location. Mm. It was, like, on the way to Cowley. It was it was good. Yeah, I think I'd probably go for Clive or Cheney. Um, I did like Parade because it was so nice, but the social side, like, the first semester, I wasn't very social, and it was good. Mm. We loved it. But the second semester, it was just a pain to, like, get everywhere and, you know, go out because we did go out all the time. So, um... Yeah, I don't know. Like on I, nights out, you'd have to get yeah. a taxi all the way back to, to parade, parade, and it's quite far. Yeah. Any moving in tips or tips in general? Um, I can only go off my experience. Mm. So I moved everything in, and then I sorted it all out with my mum, and that kind of really helped me like relax because I was so nervous when I moved in. I've got like moving in vlogs if you want to watch them. I'll leave them linked down below. My mum helped me relax by like literally unpacking everything with me, making it all really nice, and like my room was so nice, and it, I just. And that's that's probably a tip. Make it as nice as you can. Make it as homely as you can because at uni you do kind of feel a little bit like homesick and like a yeah, bit disconnected. At the start and, especially. 
and like I know that like you didn't really particularly like your room like the no. way you decorated it like I just didn't put much effort into yeah. it whereas you put loads and your room mm -hmm. was so cosy it was like and we spent room. all of my like all of our time yeah. in my room like everyone did we were always in my room because it was so cosy mm -hmm. be as social as you can yeah. honestly make as many friends as you can that you've isn't... got to go out there yeah. and make the friends they're not just going to come to you yeah exactly <clears throat> moving I've moved your stuff into your kitchen as quickly as you can so you yeah. can like that's it yeah bags are all covered yeah that's <laughs> the thing so when I went to uni right before I went to uni everyone said to me like all of my friends said make sure you get your cupboards as soon as you can move your stuff in get the best cupboards like all of my friends said that so I did that and then I said that in my video and I got so much hate like still now people call me a snobby bitch and <laughs> whatever and I'm just like what why I don't know like if you meet me I know maybe sometimes in videos it may have come across like that but like if you meet me I'm like one of the least snobby people mm. ever I am so down to earth but like you obviously don't get to see like all of that side to me you're not snobby do you think I'm snobby no not at all I've never once thought you're snobby ever Honestly, though, that did get to me because, like, I really try really hard not to be, like... It was probably the meat thing. <laughs> it was it was the meat thing. So I said, I said, oh, I don't want, like, the bottom shelf, which I ended up getting anyway, so, like, it did doesn't you? even matter. Yeah. Um, I was like, I don't want the bottom shelf because, like, meat juices drip down, and that is a fact. They do it in, like, chef's kitchens. Mm. They will not put the meat at the top of the fridge. So... I said that and then I had so many hate comments from that and I was like what the hell it's a tr it's a fact honestly God. look it up um, but I ended up getting the bottom shelf and then everyone's meat juices dripped onto mine so I had to put them in little containers and stuff like it's that. just <laughs> do you remember when like Noelle was literally went everywhere <laughs> it's just Sorry. like I mean it's not like a massive deal obviously and like at uni you learn to be a bit more chill about things and I think I was very uptight a year ago because I was so nervous I was just so scared about everything but like it probably did come across that I was snobby whatever um, anyway ran over <laughs> it doesn't hurt I promise it doesn't hurt anymore did you bring much in for your bedroom on first year <laughs> she, she got the whole of Ikea with her I swear no I did I had so much I mean again if you want to see it all watch the video down below but I had so much stuff because my view was like it's going to be my bedroom like I am not going to live there um, because I thought I was just going to live there full time which I did pretty much so it's going to be my bedroom for the year I want to make it as nice as possible and I don't care how much stuff I have I want it as nice as possible it's our bedroom wasn't it's, it, it was our bedroom like we she literally yeah she moved in because she was in a different flat so em came and lived in my flat and we had we did everything together not like in actually my... live but i like stayed in yours all the time no you pretty much <laughs> did like you had all you had boxes in yeah, my room yeah i had like clothes, clothes and stuff yeah and slept yeah. in my room every night so when um, she wasn't there i'd sleep there wouldn't i yeah when i was at like harry's house or something you'd sleep there <laughs> so um funny. no but that's just what you do you get a best friend that you can do that with what is the one thing that you wish you brought for uni and what did you buy that you didn't need oh i bought so much that i didn't that need. quite second question you could talk about for hours there's so many things that i bought and i'm yeah. like why did i buy that yeah like you <laughs> literally don't need it only buy like one frying pan really or two frying pans there's like you no don't need in, yeah, more than that needs. um only buy like one big saucepan i would say like you literally don't need it i had like three or four and like you don't need that. And all these like pasta drainers and stuff like yeah. i used to sieve even though i had a pasta drainer the yeah, whole time yeah same like, don't like there was it. so much like like if you honestly you have like no space so if you don't need it don't buy it yeah i yeah it's, where's my mum <laughs> vicky we're just filming a video well i thought you were probably filming and i was waiting for you to stop i didn't want to we still are what it's okay, apparently it. all the greys have been watching your latest posting Oh really? Ha, oh, Anna and Lucy. Family. Shut <laughs> up. They've had a family viewing. Oh god. Oh, I love that. Is it too? No, it was just Anna and Lucy were trying to see whether or not your bottom was on. Still the... out. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. Never gonna let um, that down. Supper's gonna be ready in about ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, a TV. I would quite like a TV, obviously. Um, just watch like movies. Yeah. Stri LED strip lights. I know. To be yeah, that's true. But to mm. be fair, I d I did bring like a massive TV. I bought a massive TV and put it in the kitchen. We mm. watched movies on that. So yeah, I just think maybe true, like actually. a little TV or something. Or like um, a Wii. Yeah. Or like a, a what's it called? Yeah. Nintendo Switch or something. accommodation space. Obviously, we can only comment on our own 
varies so um, much. Yeah. In my flat, I was in block G. Actually, I can say that because then if someone watches my video and then they're like, oh my god, I was in the same room as Talisha. Room. I was in block G, uh, flat 214, room E. My block, it kind of like, it was weird shaped, so it went like in and out like this. And so I got one of the smaller rooms, but then you obviously can have a bigger room. Mm. And then also there's some rooms that are like massive. Mm. Like you would get like a Bexes. random, oh, no, the disabled random disabled room and it's so nice. massive. Um, but so yeah, I had a smaller room, but I still had so much space. Like you, you get under the bed storage, like your bed literally just flings up. You've got two compartments either the side. I mean, I think I showed all of this in that video. So like there's more in detail about that um, down below, but then you had like drawers, you had cupboard space, you had shelves. Um, in the bathroom, you had like a cupboard thing. You could so, yeah. ask, like, no, um, a cabinet with like mirrors yeah. on it. We um, had, I think we had quite a bit compared to a lot of accommodation, yeah. to be honest. I think we did. Yeah, we did. Best tips for moving week. Eek, I'm going to Brooks. I'm so scared. Don't oh, be scared. So I mean, I know I was so, I was literally petrified to mm. go. Um, but honestly, like, it is scary at the start and then you meet like your like we literally became best friends in a week and we yeah. knew that we were going to be best friends for life yeah, so um literally. yeah like don't be scared like it's it is scary but everyone's um, in the same boat though yeah, aren't they? yeah. like everyone's so scared yeah everyone's so literally in the same boat i think we've already done that one haven't we yeah just be organized yeah and also be like when you're there be very very sociable with your flatmates Const don't sit in your room on your own and cry like i did go out and oh, yeah i did but not all the time yes. but like go out and sit in the kitchen and talk to people about how you're feeling like the best thing i ever did was talk to one of my friends cassie about how i was feeling really homesick and that from then i just felt so much better and like you just just yeah. talk about how you're feeling because everyone's going through the same thing and offer to like if you've moved in and like there's people moving in offer to help them move yeah in. that's a good one because then they realize yeah. that you're actually nice <laughs> who are you moving in with and are you going to film move in vlogs and room tours slash house tours etc yeah tour. so um i am moving in with this lovely lady over here emma shock um i'm going to move in with lucy dows who's one of my best friends she's in one of my videos i think or no two a couple of my videos mm. actually um, Bex, Rebecca, who actually has a channel as well. She's lovely, such a nice girl, isn't she? We were meant to move in with Anna, but I said in my last video that um, she can't move in anymore. So we've got this other girl who I'm actually not gonna say her name because it's not fair. Yeah. Don't know. But she, she seems wants. lovely. No, yeah, she seems though. nice. Um, so that's who I'm moving in with. We get our house in literally a week's time. 31st of August, yes, so exciting. <laughs> can't wait. Um, and I'm not gonna say where we're living as well because obviously not. Um, but um, I'm going to film move-in vlogs. I'm gonna film house tours, room tours. I'm gonna do a room tour of Em's room, like oh even because I'm actually so going nice. to decorate it. Yeah. Nicely. <laughs> so yeah. like you'll see, like you will be kept up with my life at uni from now on. Like I promise you, I will do all of this because it's everyone wants to see it, yeah. and I did. I wanted to see all of this. So um, yeah, we don't have the nicest house. It's not like some of our friends' house, but we're gonna we're gonna make Sweet. it nice. Yeah. <laughs> But we don't care. It we don't care. Yeah. So that's everything about the accommodation, I think. Um, I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to do a part two and a part three because this is literally crazy. I've been filming for like 40 minutes. So, um, oh my gosh. I know. Yeah, this is going to be such a long kind of series. I'm going to try and get them up as quickly as possible, you know, one after the other. So this one will be up hopefully tomorrow and then the next day the next day hopefully yeah i hope that answered all of your questions about accommodation if not then leave some questions down below i'll try and get back to them or maybe M can even comment on those and try and you know get back to you on that or you can message me on my instagram which is talisha hill underscore and also follow me on there to like keep updated with my life or if i'm doing any more q and a's or you know any videos and you've got video suggestions then just follow my Instagram and you'll be updated with all of that. I do a lot of polls, a lot of like whatever. So mm. yeah, go over there. Um, also follow my TikTok, which is Talisha Hill with three L's at the end. It's linked down below um, because I do post a lot of TikToks. I am obsessed with it. Love and follow it. M's Instagram and TikTok, which I will link down below as well. Um, and stay tuned for my next video. Maybe turn my notifications on and you will know when I upload it. Bye. You wait up.